Hey, yo, this is a clip of a recent raw chat that was posted for $5 plus patrons on Patreon. This chat was with graphic novelist and manga author Sean Michael Wilson, who joined the show to talk about his recent visual interpretation of the Tao Te Ching, a uh, classic Chinese philosophical and religious text. In this clip, we chat a bit about anarchism and how it relates to the Tao Te Ching. Apologies for the audio quality here on Sean's end as his connection was a bit on the bad side. Still, good stuff, I think. If you dig it, patreon.com slash occulture at the $5 level is the place to hear more chats like this. Enjoy. Yeah, and you know, something else that you mentioned, I think it was in the introduction to the book, was that Taoism is sometimes seen as having something in common with anarchism, I was curious if you could explain that to us. How is, how does Tao and anarchy sync up together here? Well, I, uh, I don't think I was aware of that myself before I started to, uh, to assess this. But um, when I read that, I thought well, that's interesting. And then, as I'm going through our versions of it, I thought, well, oh, yes, this is absolutely right. It is very much connected to, to anarchism. Nowadays, I'm rather keen on anarchism because I think of it as possibly the best of the options that we have in front of us as to how to organise our societies. Um, and unfortunately, it's a hugely misunderstood uh, approach. Uh, and uh, of course, that, that in a way attracts me to even more because I rather like these underdog, uh, misunderstood approaches to things. Uh, but what According to various researchers on, on, on Taoism, what they see is that, first of all, there's going back to the various influences in, in Chinese history and Chinese culture, um, Taoism is, and, and Confucianism were, uh, there's a certain conflict between them at certain points, and maybe still is, uh, between a kind of strict hierarchical way of organizing our societies and a more flexible uh, horizontal uh, system of equality and interconnectedness. And uh, it seems to me that uh, those two things, those two options in front of us, uh, explain a lot of contrast and conflict that, we, that we've seen in human history. Um, for instance, if we look at the Spanish Civil War, we can see the Spanish Civil War as a conflict between those two different ways of organizing ourselves. And Franco uh, was, of course, in the hierarchical, uh, in this case we call it fascist, but that's maybe uh, just one modern version, one modern term for it. The, uh, Franco and his fascists were on the kind of strict hierarchical side, and then the Spanish anarchists were on uh, that other Taoist type way of organizing ourselves, and in this case, the hierarchical version won, and most of the time it seems to win, yet somehow uh, that kind of anarchist type way of looking at things never seems to go away, it always seems to come back again, as if there's something about it which is inherently attractive to human beings, despite um, most people misunderstanding what the word anarchism is. Obviously, it's not chaos and disorder. It's a question of uh, an, a system organization in which people voluntarily come together to do things as kind of theoretical equals. And uh, so I was delighted to see that uh, many of the Taoist pages seem to speak about that uh, basic conflict between how we can organize ourselves. Yeah, and just uh, personally here, you know, my understanding of anarchy as a youth is vastly different uh, than it is now. And But the thing is, is that regardless of how I defined it to myself, or how I understood it, I guess, it still appealed to me. So when I thought it was just, you know, chaos and disorder in my, you know, teens and my early 20s, I thought, oh, yeah, that's appealing to me. Just, you know, just like, <laughs> let's just go out in the street and revolt and, you know, like whatever happens, happens. And now I'm just like, okay, well, that doesn't make much sense and it probably wouldn't get us anywhere. 
but then you know i understand that term differently obviously and the whole like and it's not even really to me about organization on some level i just think it's more about there's no overarching authority there's no governmental body you know and it's just people growing and developing by themselves and to me like that is what we're all doing anyways why do we need rules why do we need regulations you know why do we need unjust laws that just restrict self-growth and you know collective growth as well i guess 